When you first start abstract acrylic painting, one of the best things you can have in your abstract toolkit is masking tape. In this video, we're going to explore abstract acrylic painting with masking tape. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the good news is masking tape is almost as easy to use as paint rollers are. If you haven't seen my video yet on paint rollers, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description down below or maybe I can do one of those cool YouTube things where I put the video up here. I don't know how it works yet. <laughs> Masking tape is definitely a must-have tool for the Abstract Artist Toolkit, especially for a beginner. I mean, it's it's super easy to create some awesome effects like what you see in some of these paintings here. These are some previous paintings that I've done using masking tape and the masking effect. So masking in general isn't limited just to masking tape. You could also use something like a stencil or uh, maybe even make your own piece of paper with a stencil carved out of it. Uh, ultimately, it's just like in a digital program where you're masking a particular layer that you don't want color or paint to get onto. Before I get into the demonstration, let me just take a quick moment to introduce myself. I'm Mark, welcome to the Art With Mark YouTube channel. And on this channel, I'm looking to learn to create, market, and sell art. And I wanna share everything that I learned with you. Now let's go ahead and jump into that demonstration. All right, here we are. So we're gonna start with this uh, canvas, this small five by seven canvas that I have here. Did this background in a previous video uh, titled Acrylic Blending, Abstract Acrylic Blending Techniques. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm working on a whole playlist here of abstract techniques that we're gonna use to ultimately build, you know, a much larger painting than what we're doing here. Anyways, uh, to start with, uh, when you're putting your masking tape down, make sure that you have it nice and tight. Uh, go over those edges and make sure it's really sealed up nicely before you start painting. Um, another cool thing to do when using this technique is to do a very light layer of paint or maybe even a dry brush layer so that way it ends up being a bit more transparent and you can still see some of that background showing through. You'll see a lot of abstract artists using this, uh, this kind of a technique in their paintings. Another thing to note is before ripping the tape off or pulling the tape off, like what we have going on here, some good tape pulling action. Uh, I like to actually let it dry. Uh, you, you can pull it off wet. I've had differing results. I've, you know, I've tried both. Uh, it seems to get a cleaner line if you wait until it's dry. Uh, and so, you know, acrylic paint dries pr pretty fast, but you can always hit it with a blow dryer or a heat gun or something like that if you're pressed for time or anything like that it actually really mostly becomes an issue if your paint is too fluid also if you have a, a very textured surface that you're trying to tape off and get these harder sharp edges on using the masking tape technique now that said while you know while making this recording and watching this video I started wondering if you could use duct tape. I mean, it is masking tape, not duct tape. Now that said, duct tape is awesome for a lot of things. I don't know how great it would be on canvas or if it would rip the paint off trying to pull it off. Maybe it's something I should experiment with at some point. Oh, right here, I just wanted to show you, this is actually what happens when the paint is too fluid. If you look, uh, I either didn't have the tape on tight enough uh, or maybe a combination of both things. The tape wasn't sealed tight enough and the paint was too fluid. In fact, uh, with this white paint that you see me using here, I actually had mixed in uh, an iridescent medium. Uh, it, it's not really getting that iridescent reflective look that I was hoping it would get. Uh, that said, it did cause it to be a bit more fluid. Um, and then on top of that, my paintbrush was still quite wet, uh, which caused water to leak into the paint and caused some of that uh, leakage there under the tape. Basically, I'm just building it up one shape at a time. I'm just kind of winging it as I go, trying to use some uh, intuition and just go with what feels right. There's a certain point in most paintings that I do where I start thinking, ah, shit, I fucked it up think oh man no it's this is not how I wanted this to go most of the time when I hit that point I just think ah no I just got to keep going I just got to do one more layer one more step one more add one more thing and you know 
most of the time, it, it works out. So just trust your gut, follow your instinct, and even when it looks messy, keep going. Sometimes it just doesn't work out and you have to paint over the whole thing. That's okay too. That's about where I was at at this point in this painting. And then I decided to rotate the painting 90 degrees and uh, look at it horizontally. Which was when I was struck with some more ideas on how to make this painting just a bit better. Another thing to consider when you're first learning abstract painting and when you're first learning about painting in general is to just uh, look at color harmonies. Uh, with every painting I did in the very beginning when I first started uh, abstract painting, uh, I would pull up the color wheel and I'd look at different color harmonies and I'd challenge myself to make a painting using a specific color har harmony. Uh, whether that's complementary, tetriadic, triadic, I don't remember all the words, but ultimately, um, it's really useful in abstract acrylic painting since since painting in an abstract way requires an understanding of color and color harmonies really good abstract paintings or really good abstract artists show a mastery of the color wheel i mean just look at some of the uh the best artists on youtube that i've mentioned numerous times like uh like Suraj fine arts and John Beckley and Ray Grimes and Mike McDonald, all, all of these artists display uh, a complete understanding of the color wheel and how color harmonies work with one another. Basically, if colors are the notes, color harmonies are the chords that you want to learn to play as the musician or the artist. All right, so at this point, uh, we're getting close to something that looks like a decent painting. Uh, I could have kept going and added more layers and, uh, and you know, kept building it up. But I just wanted uh, to call it a wraps here so we can wrap up this video and uh, move on to the next uh, abstract painting technique. I hope you can now see why you might like to have masking tape as part of your abstract toolkit and also why you might like to hit the like button on this video. If you got any value out of this video and you want to see more content just like it, do me a favor and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're looking for any more abstract painting techniques to utilize in your paintings, go ahead and check out this video right here.